Let's take a little bit more of a focused look at a variadic function example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to go ahead and save this as we're going to call this maxdemo.lua. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create a simple function that's going to allow us to pass in multiple numbers and get the max value of those. Probably something that you may have actually created before a really simple piece of functionality. So let's go ahead and do function and then we're going to call this find max and then we'll use our dot 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 syntax for the variadic function. Then we're going to say end here. Now what we want to do is we're actually going to take these variable number of parameters that's being passed in and we're going to put this into what's called a table in Lua. Now we're not going to get into all the details of tables just yet, that's going to be coming up in a little bit, but we're basically going to use this table just as a way to hold and manage these values. We're really using this like an array in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to say local arguments is equal to, and this is how we're making this a table. We're just using this curly brace syntax and then our dot dot dot. And this is basically going to take those variable number of arguments that we've passed in and it's going to store them into one object that is of the type table. Now the next thing we're going to do is just create another local variable called max and I'm going to set this equal to dot dot dot. And what's happening with this assignment is we're just getting the first value. So we need something that's going to be the max. So we're just going to start arbitrarily with the first value. Remember that Lua supports multiple assignment. And if you have only one variable, but you're assigning it to something that contains multiple values, like in our case, we could have a mul multiple number of arguments that are passed in. It's just going to grab the first one and drop off the rest. So we're just going to get whatever the first value is. Then we want to create a loop, so we're just going to create a simple for loop. We're just going to say i equals 1, and then we're going to use this pound arguments. Now remember when we talked about the operators, we said that this pound operator gets the count. So this is going to give us the count of the arguments that are in that table that we created. Then we're just going to do a do. We don't need to do an increment because it's automatically going to increment by 1 by default. And then we're just going to say if arguments i is greater than the max, then let's go ahead and set that to our max. So we're just going to say max equals arguments i. Then what we want to do at the end of this is we want to return whatever the max is. So essentially we're going to be looping through all the arguments that are passed in, and then we're going to return whatever the greatest one is. So we can try utilizing this by doing something like answer equals find max, and let's just pass in some numbers. We'll say 1, 5, 3, 10, 8, 12, 5, 2. So we have a bunch of numbers here. We can see that the max should be 12. So let's go ahead and do a print and we'll print our answer and we expect that we should get 12. So I'll go ahead and run this and you can see that we're getting 12 here. 